Head for the hells, loving well for less. Spam, spam, glorious spam, wonderful spam, Well, that's me here at Shieldbridge campsite. Um, back to more of the Scottish National Trail. So I stayed here last night. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start from where I left off last year, last September, when I finished it at Shieldbridge. Well, I finished it at Morvich, which is just along the road. So I'm going to continue now. So. I'm just having breakfast here, quick cappuccino, a quick cappuccino. 
and some breakfast biscuits. I've got a few packets of those to have. It's been a bit of a miserable night. Um, been raining all through the night. I'm hoping it's going to dry up today, but um, I'm just having my coffee now and deciding whether I'm going to carry on in on the next stage of the Scottish National Trail and the Cape Raft Trail or whether I'm just going to get the bus home This is the view I've got here from the tent where I'm set up on the campsite It's alright here, not bad, I think it's uh, 7 quid or something, I've not paid yet because uh, the shop was closed last night, so I'm going to do that before I leave. And there's a wee shop there, shield shop, so I'll get some supplies. Oh, I've got my map here. Cape Raft Trail map. I've got the south and I've got the north. I'm going to start off with the south. And so that is Shield Bridge up here. Shield Bridge. So that's where I finished off last time. So I'm going to continue from Shield Bridge up to Strathcarran over the next few days and then I'll get the other map out and I'll continue up from Strathcarran right all the way up to Cape Raff if I'll make it that far. Uh, apologies if I'm a little quiet this morning, it's just that there's um, lots of other people here on the campsite. So obviously I don't want to look like a total numpty sitting talking away to myself. Um, we end up, may end up in the loony bin. So I'll just um, chill out this morning and finish this coffee, and then we'll set off on the Scottish. Then we'll set off on the 17 mile journey we have planned today, which takes me up to the Bothy. Um, I can't remember the name of the boffy, I'll tell you later. Maybe. I'm sure I am. Well, I can't remember the name of the boffy right now. Oh, lovely. Mmm, lovely. <coughs> so, um, this is where I am at the moment, just down here. Arch Shield Bridge, so we've got to traverse over to Morvich here. Uh, this is where the Cape Raft Trail would continue at Morvich. And um, the Scottish National Trail also continues the same route. So, over there, over the page, and then up that path there. And then eventually you'll come to Al Badai Boffey which is a 16 mile journey today, 16 miles up to the Bothy. Uh, I'm not going to show you on the map just now because it means taking the map, it means opening the map up, it means opening it up wide and then I've got to put it all back together again so I'm not going to bother with that. But you get the general idea. So I'll just finish this off now. Oh, nice. And we'll make our way to the, the shop, um, shield shop, that's also where you pay for the campsite and then I'll get some supplies for the day, some cheesy puffs and then we'll set off. Hopefully this train's going to stop, uh, it's been on and off as I say, it's been on and off all night.
so this is where I uh, caught the bus from last year when I abandoned the Scottish National Trail at Morwich after coming down from Camden Buffet. This is where I finished. Caught the bus from here uh, down to Glasgow, I think it was. Right now to carry on with that from Alt McCroon. But to head up through Morwich now. Past the Jacobite restaurant here. Not sure if it's still open, I think it could be closed down now. We shop here, can tell crafts. Sells uh, some food supplies. Uh, so it's quite handy. That's uh, Loch Douche over there. Loch Douche. And I'm just carrying up, up this way now. Heading for Morwich. Well, this is the way I came out last year when I came down from Camden Buffet to Morwich. Uh, I came down here and obviously I'll, I'll walk this way into Morwich and got the bus. Uh, this is where I should continue if you're doing the Scottish National Trail or the Cape Raft Trail. You just continue on this way uh, up uh, Falls of Glomac at the top there. So over this way up to the falls now. I uh, have to go quite high. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. It's like a thousand metres I've got to climb today. I'm the walking chicken, I walk all day I'm the walking chicken, no time to play I'm the walking, 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 walking chicken I walk through Alaska, and I walk through France No time for talking, no time to dance I'm the walking, 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 walking chicken Getting up now, there's a little an old hut here. Might have a quick look inside. The rain's coming on again, so it'd be good to get a bit of shelter. Looks like it was maybe some kind of a, a dog kennel or something here at some point. Must have, oh, it's definitely dog kennels. Oh. And there's a wee room, a wee shelter room here, so I'm going to go in here and uh, Maybe just sit down for five minutes. Maybe not sit down, stand up and uh, enjoy the set. I'll have a wee drink, maybe uh, some lunch, and then we'll get moving again. Oh, hopefully, I said they can find me both with this. Lovely. Whoa! Oh, that's how far I've came. So far, uh, still got a lot to go yet. Just uh, up top of the forest now. So that's me through the forest. I'll give you a quick look at the map. This is where I am at the moment. I'm in the Duristain woods here. So I've just come all up this way and now I'm at East Woodland. I'm almost out of the woods. I'm just about to come out of the woods. That's where I came from there. And this is where I'm going. Uh, that's the edge of the wood there. So I'm going to go up the next hill. I've got to climb this hill now. All the way up there. Not much fun. But that'll take us up to the falls. Hopefully be there in the next hour or two. And hopefully it's going to stay dry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm getting there. Just a quick, quick stop here. A quick peanut break. Halfway up the hill because I couldn't go much further. Oh, I should be approaching the falls soon. It's starting to level out a bit now, uh, that's good. Uh, I've just came up from that direction there through the woods. As, uh, so, should we follow this path now? I don't know if there's any more big hills or not this morning. I know there's still another 600 metres to go, but I don't know how much we've got before the falls. But I'm going to switch the camera off now. Uh, battery's getting low, so... Switch off the camera now until we get to the falls. 
and then we'll give you a wee view of the, the Glomick Falls. Uh, I think I'm approaching the falls now, at the end of that river there, up this way, just down here. The weather's really miserable, as you can see, it's uh, rained pretty much all the way here. People coming up there. Camera keeps going blurry. Tell you what, don't buy a cannon. That's what you get. Bloody mess. There we go, almost at the falls, down here. Well, that's me reach the falls now. That's the river, I'll put the river up on the screen for you. That falls into the falls. Here at the falls of Gloma. There we go, we're here, danger. Tell you why it says danger. Was the cuff to climb down this gorge? That's why, that's what's next on the agenda for today. I'm looking forward to that already. Not. There we are, the falls of Glomac on a shitty wet day. I'm not happy, I don't want to be here right now. The path's supposed to continue down that way. How the hell are you supposed to go down there? So I don't know. I'm not going down there, that's the one thing. I don't know how anybody can expect to go down there. It's a gorge. You can't even get a view, you can always wait to get a view of the falls. I don't even get a view of the falls, waste of time. Now what I'm going to do, go back. i to find somewhere to camp now. Start walking back. Not happy. I don't recommend coming to the Falls of Glomac. Another guy's fed up, look. He's fed up as well. He's pitched up there. Can't even see because of the rain. Useless, I hate the rain. There's a guy pitched up there. Tent. Who cares, you can't see nothing. So there you go, that's the Falls. I found a viewpoint just along here. The path goes over this way. Oh, this camera's useless. It's off uh, this way here, path. Well, I think it gets quite steep over there. There's a bit of a gorge, you've got to get down the gorge. Exciting stuff. So I might try to get to the bottom of the gorge and then I'm going to find somewhere to camp. I've had enough of the rain today. I won't make that a problem today, I don't think. It turned out, uh, it turned out that was on the, the view, the viewpoint path, path to the viewpoint down there. So I've had to come back up, and I found the other path. I found a higher path up here that looks down on the gorge. So this is the way I'm going now, along this path. And I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not doing any selfies or anything right now, but. This is really tiring and it's really wet and I can't really do much footage because uh, the rain and camera needs cleaned as well, lens needs cleaned. So I do apologise, I'll hopefully get the lens cleaned at some point today and sort things out, but that is just oh. rubbish. That looks like the nightmare may finally be over for today. Cross this bridge, then I'm going to meet up with a track. Thank God, that is the worst path I've ever experienced in my entire life. To never, anybody, whatever you do, do not climb the Falls of Glomac. You'll regret it, just like I did. Never again, man, never. That was, oh, you don't want to know how bad that was. So cross here, up the track, and then we'll find a campsite for tonight. I've had enough, basically.
honestly can't believe just how knackering that actually was coming going up and down those falls that was something I didn't think I'd want to do in my life ever and I still regret it to this day I regret it I wish I had just stayed at home uh, playing the computer if we watched some TV that would have been better than that I tell you my feet are soaked through now my feet look at that look absolutely soaking through now I'm knackered, exhausted and uh, that took me about five hours or something so there's no way I was going to make it to that bothy today no way Jose as you say so that's the track, that's the track right there just going to follow that track now over to Iron Lodge try and find a camp spot somewhere I don't know what time it is right now but I'll find out the thing about this really is um, you sit down, take a break as soon as you do that it starts raining again as soon as you sit down but you get a bit of light rain then suddenly all the midges come out so you can't sit still and take a break you can't just sit still and take a break because all the midges come out and start attacking you and these other things that have been attacking me all day long that's one there I don't know what they are, I think they're ticks, I've already pulled out three ticks so um, you get flying ticks now by the way so you get ticks, flies, midges, clegs, and then attacking you all day long it really is a nightmare I don't recommend, but this is my last season I think I think after this year that's it, no more hiking, just uh, the old camping trip the old meet up, camping trip when we go up the hill, that'll be it, no more Oh, so I've just arrived at the Iron Lodge I'm hoping there's going to be somewhere to pitch my tent up here tonight I don't think the lodge is in use I'm pretty sure it's not, so I should be alright here if I can find a good spot somewhere oh. uh, Maybe have a look at the house, see if there's anybody in See if there's anybody about <sighs> Probably locked Hello, anybody home? Get for the hell. Hello. I was just wondering if you do camping. I was going to pitch up outside. I don't mind paying. Hello. Anybody home? Is it for the hell? Hello. Oh, nobody's in. Hope they don't mind me walking at their house. Nice kitchen here. Oh, cool play of the viz. Haha, <laughs> looks like lots of people come here, but looks a bit. This viz, look at this lot. It was left here by someone who smokes expensive. S something smokes. I think somebody's been here in the past. Leaving the stuff. And it was a mess in here. It's obviously not in use. Really nice place, I'll tell you. Hello? Anybody home? Nope. Nobody's home. Well, it's nice in here. I wouldn't mind living here if it was done up. I need to fix the window. Someone's left their camping gas. So it's not quite obvious to me now that people have been using this like a have off a Three cans of gas. So yeah. Bottle of uh, wine there. It's alright. And there's uh, an upstairs as well, I noticed. Have a wee look upstairs, looks nice. Oh, well, this is a bit creepy, but we'll have a look upstairs anyway. Hello, anybody upstairs? Just let me know and I won't come up if I'm bothering you. No, I don't think anybody's here. That's the bathroom. Good timing, I need needing to go. Oh, well, good job, buddy. Someone's left some crap. The uh, yucky bath colour. Three, three rooms up here. That's the first room there. I see fireplace. That's a total mess. The lights work, I wonder. No, lights don't work. 
another room here. Fireplace, chest of drawers, no drawers. Nice. Somebody wants to buy this place, I'm sure you can find out the owner. Take it over, buy it out, do it up. Nice room here. Oh, that's pretty much it. I've seen it all. I don't think I'm going to stay in here tonight, it'll be too creepy. I'll go to pitch the tent out the back. I think it would be really creepy living in here tonight. Like, You'd hear all the creaky noises and it would freak me out. It's probably haunted, so just leave it at that. I think. Back down. Oh. I think this is the reason I'm not going to stay inside the lodge tonight. Uh, look at that ceiling there, apart from the fact it's um, falling apart. Ooh. It's full of bricks. I've not, I didn't even know that anybody used bricks um, in between floors like that. So that's not a good. Imagine lying under that and then it collapses. Well, even I don't mean just there, but I mean, if it's like that there, what would it be like if there were else in the house, you know? So I think the safe option tonight, I think. Ooh. And we'll just pitch up out here, see there? There's a wee spot there at the back. Right, I'll just pitch out there. Nice and safe, secure, and peaceful. And I know that the place hasn't got to collapse on top of me. Right, so that's me. Um, I've been out and I've put the tent up out the back. So that's all done. A lot of midges out there now, so I'll... Let me wait till it's gotten a bit dark and then I'll... I'll just, basically I'll just sleep in the tent tonight and I'll not do much else, I'll cook in here I'll do everything else in here I might not use the toilet in here but um, yeah, I'll, quite a nice kitchen so I'm just going to sit down here and make my dinner, tonight's tea it's, I love this kitchen look at the size of that kitchen um, table and the benches, it's brilliant amazing love it and look over here, got, I know it's this Anaga cooker Rusted Aga cooker, probably still worth some money. Wonder if the water still works. No, nope, no water. That's all right. I'll put it in the river today. I've got my cut some water. Okay, let's get you dinner now. Oh, oh. Ooh, I do like this. This is this is this is the life. This is the way it should be. Every night on the Scottish National Trail, every night on the Cape Wrath Trail, should be like this. This is perfect. I should be in a lodge every night of the week on this trip. Not stuck in a, a, a dingy little tent all the time. What can you do, I suppose? Look what I've got tonight. Oh! Lovely. Oh, so I've got my favourite tonight. I carried this in my bag for a few days now, actually, it was yesterday. I got it at Shield Bridge. Uh, I picked up at Shield Bridge on the way through the uh, airfall. That was good. It's good they had some there. Cut it into, I think, four pieces tonight. I'm feeling quite um, like I want some good chunky bits of meat tonight, so I'm getting midges everywhere. There's midges in this house. Full of midges, unfortunately, but what can you do? I can't, I'm not the owner, I can't complain, I can't do anything about it. There's lots of um, mice, mice shit all over the place as well. And actually, I think I'm going to do five pieces now because I've cut it into. Oh, damn it. Look, it's, I'll do five. Five pieces. There we go, five pieces will do. Oh, yeah, I'll we'll get that. Look at that go in there. Ooh, getting quite dark. I hope I can make it out of here before it gets too dark. I've got my torch, but I don't like sitting here in the dark, to be honest. It's quite spooky. So, could be somebody. You don't know if somebody might live here. They might be coming in later. So give some homeless dude or something, you know. So I, I really don't want to stay in here too long. There we go. Oh, it's uh, looking nice. I've uh, got some more cooking there. 
have no sauce to put on unfortunately but it's alright, I'm starving today after walking all those miles so that's good it's nice as well, it's nice to have spam um, made in the kitchen for a change instead of a tent all the time so spam in the kitchen lovely okay. come in Ooh. oh look at that Nice meaty face. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. Mmm. Oh. Oh. You can't even that. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Well, <coughs> that's a spam out the way. Uh, I don't feel like a hot drink tonight. I feel like a drink of juice and I've got this, um, I think I deserve a sugary drink today. After all that miles and all those hills I've done and coming down from that fall. So I've got a couple of these powdery sugary drinks, orange flavour I've got. They're German things, I get them on eBay. You may have seen them before. So I've got a couple of them to put into my water. I had to get, um, obviously I had to get water from the river again. And uh, I filtered it with the water filter. So that's good. There's a couple of them in there, nice, nice sugary. Sugary drink all the way from Germany. Got my cheese puffs there as well. I think I'm going to leave them. I don't feel like eating anything else after all that spam. So I might save them for tomorrow night. That's me now, just going to have a wee drink and then I'm going to pack up and then I'm going to head out to the tent. I've had enough tonight. Straight to the tent and then straight to bed, I think. Uh, here we are. Room with a view tonight. Got our waterfall up there. That's one side of the tent, on the other side I've got the, the lodge there, so that's got a bit of a view. Oh, I'm just going to crawl into my tent now and that's it. So I'll probably see you in the morning, that's enough for tonight. I think we've made a long enough video today, so I'm just going to zip into my tent. And I'll see you in the morning. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Good night.